Good morning fellow option traders. This is Jeff and welcome to the daily scan for Wednesday, May 17th, 2014. All right, yesterday we had international trade. It was sort of in line, pretty much in line anyway. Um, nothing surprising there. And for today we have pr productivity and costs. All right, moving across the ocean over in Asia, we were 100% bearish across the board and very solidly so more than a half a percent almost everywhere and in Europe uh, about the same story uh, slightly bearish but the day is only half gone there all right um, let's just jump right over take a look at the futures here we go <clears throat> okay um, we are looking, I would call this flat, I guess. Gold is up a tad, and oil is uh, comes in at over $100 a barrel overnight. All right, yesterday we had um, one alert and one setup. The alert was on CVX, and the setup was on Chipotle. And then 320 deltas. We'll take a look at those right now. Um, first of all, jumped in on this rut trade yesterday. Uh, let's take a look at their chart. Did a 20 delta on it, and um, I'm going to move this up here. There we go. I was wondering why I couldn't see the bottom of it. Uh, moved in on this 20 delta with an expiration out here on 523. So I put in uh, one, two, about two and a half weeks on that particular one. Another 20 delta that we had was Apple, and I did not enter on that one because it was a tad bit confusing. You know, we were thinking about going with a bull put on this. And obviously it was not going to work out here. Let me get this in here. There we go. It was not going to work out because we got red downs on this. So it was not a good entry for Apple, even with a 20 delta. And then Costco was another 20 delta that we were looking at. And it just it continued down. So Costco may be in the mood to start a to give us a trend anyway but we're gonna we'll wait you know it's still a 20 delta candidate all right so when I entered on the rut trade I just want to talk about that for a second here um, it's a pretty much fun thing to do by allocating across multiple accounts you all can see from my account page that I have multiple accounts and I decided to that this particular uh, Russell or Rut cash index trade I wanted to allocate across a couple of accounts so here's the way that you do it go ahead and uh, create a duplicate order here and then hit the confirm and send and then all you have to do is go up here into the single account and change that to multiple accounts and then you get a different style of window and here you can allocate it across all the accounts you just change your amounts here however you want to do it or you can save it as um, as sort of a format for instance uh, let's see here apply save distribution here's a 10 lot that I created and then uh, ours, I don't know about that one, and then standard. But anyway, you can actually save a distribution if you're doing the same thing all the time. So I just thought that I might show that to you because it's kind of interesting to see something like that. And uh, even with the Russell, believe it or not, on that trade, it executed very quickly. So I was pretty pleased with that a lot of times. With the Russell, you end up waiting a long time for a trade to happen. 
All right, let's jump over to, and here you can see, I don't, let's go back to the, to the here. here we have, I did two of them and I allocated across two accounts. So a total of four contracts allocated across two different accounts. All right. Okay, let's go right to our A plus list at the five minute mark, roughly five and a half minute mark. Bring up our analyze so we can see if we have any positions here. Just thinking about this one here, and oh, I took a pass on it, and we just talked about that. Uh, here we have um. Apple, let's take a look at Apple. We are currently in an uptrend and we're up here. We're looking for a target down here. Let's slide that over to there. So this qualifies now. We got above the 70 mark. It's kind of a weak qualification, but it's good enough. And if we stay solid red down to the 30 or the 20 level, then we'll be looking for a setup. But nothing right now on Amazon or on Apple. Sorry about that. All right, on Amazon, uh, here we had. How could I have missed this yesterday? I didn't even make a note here. I bet you I talked about it, but I didn't write it down in my notes. Well, now we have an alertable trade. So let's throw an alert in here. I hate missing trades. Because the more you do, the better your chances are of being profitable. Okay, so we now have an alert there. And just as a recap, an alertable trade at the alert, whenever the alert goes off, uh, you want to take a look at it and see if you want to enter. You can wait a little while if you desire, and it's up to you. But if you get the alert right at the open, do not trade until after 30 minutes has passed. Okay, uh, let's go back here. Boeing. Uh, we have a little bit of a hook here on Boeing for a 20 Delta. So we'll throw them on our 20 Delta list. I wouldn't call this particularly alertable, but we'll want to take a look at this. This would be a bear call. Just because we're playing around with this range here. All right, Baidu. We're in Baidu with a 20 delta up here. Looks like it's working out nicely. We're just going to leave it alone. We'll put a white circle down here. And maybe we'll condorize this when it gets down there. Seljean. Thinking of shortening up my um, A plus list a little bit. Seljean, so we're still looking like a zone. Well, let's see here. One, two, three days in on this one, so I'm going to take a pass on it. So, we'll just take this off. Missed on that one. It's another one that I missed. Okay, Chipotle. I think we took a peek at that one before. We have an alert situation here right now. So let's put an alert on Chipotle. All right, Costco. We had earnings coming up on them. Uh, no, way out here. Okay. Uh, Costco, we were waiting to see if we could get in here with a 20 Delta. A little bit concerned about the size of... Wow, look at this. Bang, 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 bang. Wow. I uh, <laughs> was not paying much attention yesterday. Um, this, I would not do a bull put on this one. <laughs> There's just too much momentum to the downside here. So now we're looking at a white circle up here and we'll delete that one. 
CVX, oops, CVX. All right, we had an alert on CVX. Uh, let's see here. And we got a red down here on the MACD, even though we continue to move up. So it's running out of gas, and since if we do a 50 delta trade, we're looking at momentum. Um, we have a conflict on momentum here. So, um, cancel the alert. And wait for the next opportunity, I guess. This is good enough for us to look for a target down here. Let's take a look at the Dow and see what's going on there. Let's just zoom out a tad. Uh, yeah, we're definitely, I guess, forming a base. And where we go from here, who knows? We just don't know. This was uh, the February move, which was a bit of a surprise from the same base. So we're going to have to see what the heck happens here. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Yep. Okay. We can actually move out to here. I think that would nah, that makes it a little bit too tight. Let's just go to here. How's that? There, that's a little bit better. Okay. Yes. Definitely in a consolidation here, and the market is trying to make up its mind. Okay, Igor. We had a very nice move off of their earnings, which was... Uh, they did pretty well. We are in a day. Yeah, okay. Just making sure I got the right chart here. Um, we just wait for that one to figure out what it's going to do. FedEx. We are in still in a setup on FedEx. Just barely. I may want to change this to a 20 delta, though, because there's just no momentum. So I, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to change it to uh, 20 delta. Okay. F5 networks. We're in on F5. Working out pretty good. 20 delta trade. A little bit of a hookup here, and that's okay. Um, as long as it moves down far enough, if the stochastic comes up, which sort of reflects price, but uh, the MACD is measuring the power of that move. If it uh, stays pretty flat around here, I'm not going to worry too much about it. So we'll keep an eye on that one. Gold. Um, we had an alert here. Why did we have this? Is uh, let's see if we can figure out here when this alert was put in. Gold on 5-2. Hmm. Was it because of this? This is 4.24. So that alert was put in here. Huh. Don't know why. I'm going to cancel that alert. I don't. If I don't know why I have an alert in there, then I probably shouldn't have an alert in there. But anyway, gold is, uh, just to get back to their chart, a little bit choppy right now for any sort of uh, directional trade. Just trying to figure out where this thing might be going. Um, is there the possibility of another 20 delta trade up here well no that could be so let's 
move this up here. We'll be looking for a hook on that one. All right, Google. Okay. Uh, Google missed it. So we are now one, one, two, three days into this. Now we're going to have to wait for the next one. So let's move this over here. Missed that one as well. Nice guru. A little busy yesterday. I could use an excuse like that. Um, that's the way it happens sometimes. You don't want to force trades. If you're too busy to get back here to look at this stuff, then just wait for the next opportunity. It's as simple as that. IWM, which uh, we usually use that for our Russell trade, which was right here. So that seems to be working out pretty well. LinkedIn. Uh, can we, oh, we have a new low on LinkedIn. So if I would have, well, I don't know where that uh, long put would be right about now. I have no idea. I could take a look at it, but I'm not going to waste time on this video on it. I'm not going to do any more earnings plays. Okay, so I'm sorry. Uh, back here to our directional trading on momentum. We have to wait for another opportunity up here. So come up to our target, 3M. Uh, okay, 3M is setting up, or trying to. It's not quite in the setup area yet. Netflix. Uh, Netflix gives us a nice down, so this is alertable. So let's throw an alert on there. And really, Wednesday is my favorite day to trade. Out of the whole week, Wednesday is the best one. Tuesday is second best. Then uh, Monday, then Thursday. And hardly ever on Friday, of course you all know, is my least favorite. At least for the CSS V2 50 Delta trades. CSS V2 is simply... Um, using these two indicators and moving averages. I mean, basically, that's what it is. And if it's weak momentum, you do 20 delta. If it's strong momentum, you do 50 delta. That's what it's maturing to, and I'm sticking to it. All right, uh, we have price line. We have earnings, so we're just going to stay away from that. Can we pull some money out of this? Well, quite possibly, but I'm just going to stay away from it. We have plenty of other stuff to look at. Then there's the Qs. Uh, we were in this yesterday, and uh, or actually last week, sweating it out a little bit, but now it seems to be working out just fine. So it's a little uh, confidence in the system after a little, um, it's kind of threw a monkey wrench in the works here, but it's doing fine now. Uh, is there an opportunity to add to it? Mm, no, I'm not going to add to it. Uh, Russell, we already looked at these. We'll just take a quick peek again. Did this 20 Delta yesterday. Uh, and the Spiders, looking at the S&P 500. And we are looking to possibly condorize this if we were in it. We're not in it, but that would be an example of being able to condorize. So we do a bear call on this side and a bull put on this side. We'll have to see. I'm not going to do anything with that right now. TLT, we're in with a couple of them here. And we're going to look for another opportunity over here to add to that position. Um, which may or may not come here, but we have to wait a little bit. Tesla, 
rumor has it. Uh, let's see here. Earnings. Ooh, today. Well, aftermarket. It should be interesting. Not touching that one. UNP. We are in UNP with a 20 delta trade here. Um, doesn't make. Well, we're in an uptrend, so I think we're gonna we're gonna be okay because we got a green up here. So um, I see an opportunity to add to it here. I don't know if we're going to add to this particular trade here or if we're going to pick another spot maybe a little bit lower and with a different expiration. So I am putting them on my 20 delta sheet and I'm going to activate this, slide it over and then change it to a 20 delta. All right, and then last but not least is Visa. All right, and Visa is trying its darndest to set up. This could be a 20 Delta trade if it decides to move down today, but I'm not even going to look at it because we have a little bit of infraction to our rules here. We have a nice solid green. This is kind of questionable. So therefore, this could be a 20 delta at this point. So I'm adding that to the 20 delta list and we'll come and take a look at it. All right, that's it for today. Um, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and happy trading.